I'm, uh, I'm lost for words. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the CHRO team. Um, it's been an interesting journey. You've done phenomenally well. The webinars have lifted us as a community. And um, I thank you for that, because I think we need to lift each other up as we, as we face challenges. And you've given lots of us a platform to engage, to share, to learn, and really to raise our impact in the organizations that we work in. So for that, I'm eternally grateful, and thank you for all your work that you've done. To my HR colleagues, it's funny because I didn't prepare anything, so I'm speaking from, uh, I'm speaking from the heart. Um, I'm extremely passionate about the function that we're in. Um, and the reason I'm passionate is uh, Joel started earlier about should HR have the seat at the table? And I think that is so 1980s. That is not the conversation we should be having. Uh, and I feel passionate about that because I think um, a business is an interesting um, organ uh, organism, if I put it like that. You know, everybody's got a role to play. And uh, I feel passionate about the role that we play. And, um, and as such, um, I think all the nominees and all the different uh, colleagues that I've, uh, that I've learned from, that I've engaged with, that I've participated with. And I think there's a role that we've got to play, which is to lift the function, develop each other, continue to share. We're not, comp we're not competing, right? So if I think about it, whoever's doing a great job, and um, you know, I'll just mention a few examples. We engaged with Donald to share with us some of the work that he was doing. Um, you know, I exchanged time with Mantimba's team so that we could uh, experience what each other were doing. And so what I'm really encouraged us to do is to get into that moment where we lift, we lift the floor, right? We've got to lift everybody. We need to have a very robust, strong function. And we're only going to get robust and strong if we share best practice, if we coach each other, we support each other, we mentor, and because all the problems have been seen. We're never alone. I don't support uh, Liverpool, but uh, I like, you never, you'll never walk alone, right? And I think it's very apt for me now that we'll, we don't need to walk alone. So the stuff that I'm doing, the stuff that other people are doing, let's just, they're just across the phone call. Pick up, let's engage, let's cross-pollinate, let's share, let's create the swarm that, uh, that we, kind of, we, we were talking about just now. And um, I'd like to thank, I'm very fortunate and privileged to work for Discovery. Uh, I always try to get to work for organizations that takes me to the next level. And I'm lucky that um, I found that in Discovery. They've added a lot to me. I'm hoping that I've made a, a contribution, however small that may be. But one thing that I've learned is uh, on my journey um, is surround yourself with brilliant people. Uh, just, you know, if people say to me, what's the trick? It's actually not about you. It's about the team that you have. And so I'm quite deliberate in making sure that I recruit people that are better than me and that I can learn from. And then I just create the space for them to do outstanding stuff. And then when they do outstanding stuff, it's quite interesting that you end up uh, getting the accolade, right? Because even, even in the boardroom, you just let them go present. And I always say it's funny, the CEO or the chairman of the board will always say, gee, that was a fantastic presentation, well done. And you go, but I didn't do anything. And because it's your team member who did that, it actually reflects on you. And for me, that's what I've learned, and I thank those that have taught me uh, on that journey so many years ago. I thank my team, and um, I appreciate the accolades. It's been a, a crazy year. But um, I'm thankful for the opportunity that I've been granted. Uh, thank you very much, and have a good evening.